Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Today we're going to be looking at workflows to model this um, Grumman F8F Bearcat here. And um, I started here modeling this. And this is surface modeling here. Let me turn the sketches back on. Turn the bodies off. And you can see the wireframe. Let me turn the canvases off too. You can see the wireframe that I did to get that shape. And that there is the wireframe. I turn the canvases back on and turn the sketches off. And I use these shapes here to get this. And I didn't use all of them. I used um, this one here, this one here, um, every pretty much every other one to get the shape. The more you put in here, it can be a little difficult to get everything lined up properly. And then um, after I got those in there, then I went ahead and put guide rails on here too. So like these here, through here, and the one on the side here to give me the shape that I need it. You can see from the top, it gives me that smooth curve like that. And then these here, gives me this smooth curve here also. And how I did that, um, it's pretty simple. I'll just show you how I did one and then you just, um, just repeat the same process for rest of them. So the first thing I did Let's say I want to put this one up here first, this A, A, A. Just create a sketch on this plane here and draw a line from here straight down. Then use a fit point spline. And then you adjust the um, rails here to get it to the sh um, the rails to get it to the shape that you need. Now, this line here is not straight up and down on these um, plans here. As you can see, that line's not straight up and down, and this line that I just sketched is straight up and down, so that um, tells me that the line on the um, here on this drawing is not straight down. So um, one or two things you could do, you could rotate this a little bit, um, maybe half a degree to get the, the line to be straight down because this does not look like it's um, level either. But anyway, once you have this drawn here or sketched, then move copy, select the, um, the um, sketch, then move it up into the place where it needs to be, like um, right here. I was moving it over here, but it would go right here. Then rotate it. And this point here needs to be on this line here. I selected the wrong point when I did, uh, moved it. Well, once you select the right points, then it'll be lined up already. And then you just click OK. Then you have your first um, 
section here. Now what I'm going to do here, um, this is just an example um, demonstration purpose, the lofting um, that I did. So come up to surface, loft, a surface up here, then you're going to do a surface loft. Then select the um, your profiles here. Then select your rails. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to do some of it. Then click OK. And that section that I just did, let me turn off these other sections. And that's a section that I just did, how to loft that. Now, like I said in another video, that if um, this reverts to the inside to the outside like this did, then you just come up here to modify and reverse normal and click this, and then it goes back to how it should be. Turn the sketches off here and turn the canvases off, and that's the first piece that we have. But to get a nice smooth um, loft, what you want to do is loft all of them at one time. And do the, um, the guide rails also. And that's what that looks like once that's done. Then I added the nose to it. Now, this looks like it can come up just a little bit. The nose. So I'm going to move it up just a tiny bit. Turn the canvases back on here. And that's how I did this section here. Then I used a form to do this canopy in this here, this piece up here. Now, looking at this, Coming back through here, there's only one more section here that they show as far as um, formers. And it's over here, which is this one here, over here, and goes back here. Now, lofting from this shape, from this back shape here, um... That's not going to give you a very good shape, what's needed. Because looking at the top here, this does look like it comes down through here. So I have to think about how to um, surface model that through here because I don't have a former for that. And um, all we have is this back piece. So... What I most likely would do is um, put a plane here. So let's say I would come back here, do a um, offset plane here. Well, no, I wouldn't do that. Um, cancel that. Turn this off here. What I would do. is make this a solid. 
this fuselage here. And to do that, I'd patch. Well, first, it won't let me do that, but I just um, thought of something here. Because in the bottom here, it's not connected. Because um, when I drew those formers, they were sort of rotated. So um, as this sits right here, So it's not going to let me do that. So then I'm going to, um, from what I've done so far, I'm going to have to put a plane back here. And so I would do an offset plane from here. To get this a little more accurate, um, um, just create a sketch on this plane here and just draw a line. And finish sketch. Turn the sketches back on and then construct and use a plane at an angle. Use this zero degrees and click OK. And then create a sketch on this plane. And project this onto the plane. And do an offset. Click OK. Go ahead and finish sketch. Then I'm going to move this. And that looks to be about there. And click OK. Now what we can do here from that now we can loft this to this. And click OK. And reverse this. Okay, now that's how I would handle that to get that shape. But I would get all these formers in here first and then loft them all at one time to give me a nice smooth, um, nice smooth shape. Okay, now moving on here. Pretty much, um, that's pretty much how to do that fuselage using surface modeling. Now, I wouldn't say surface modeling is better and, um, than form modeling. It just depends on um, what end results you're looking for. Um, me, a lot of times, I just go for speed and, um, and get a relatively really nice um, looking model. It may not be 100% 100% exact, but it looks like the airplane and it's, um, it, it looks really nice. Now, the more time I spend with the um, you know, modeling, it can look um, even more scale if I spend more time with it. I'm not saying that I can get a more scale model with surface modeling or form modeling, 
I could probably get the same model with either. Just depends on how much time I want to spend on um, working with them. So again, um, a lot of times I just go for speed to get the thing um, uh, modeled. And um, from there, like I said, this is not hard to do. As I'm showing you here, it, it, that's not hard to do at all. But um, now we're going to look at doing this same thing um, with forms. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for rapid prototyping from 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, electronic PC board design and manufacturing. PCBWay has globally competitive prices and to get an instant quote for your project, sign up for an account and drag and drop your file. You will get an instant quote and two to three days you will get a firm quote. For your 3D printing needs or other rapid prototyping needs, check out PCBWay.com. So I've got everything um, here. Okay, just deleted those two lines. Okay, now here, what I'm going to do here is, um, as I can see here, this is not lined up over here, so I don't want to start um, modeling here. So what I'll do is just use an offset plane and move this back to the front there like that and click OK. Then create a form a cylinder on this plane back here. And let me look at the front here. Now, um, when I did that, and you didn't see this uh, circle there, and if that happens to you, just um, type Control-6 brings the lines back. Then add height faces here. And click OK. Now, form modeling here. Now, this particular uh, model here, me personally, I would have started with a form because the, the fuselage is just a cylinder. So this is exactly how I um, would have done this particular model from the beginning. But I want to show you guys the, um, the difference in form modeling and surface modeling because some people prefer surface modeling over form modeling. And me, I wouldn't say I like one more than the other. It's just that, um, I, again, I just go for speed of modeling and, and getting a good model. But if I were um, modeling the model for somebody, again, I would um, evaluate which one would work best for me and go from there. And I need to put an edge in here.
And I would probably guess that um, most of you guys would use form modeling here also for this particular model. And a certain other edge. Okay, move these back. All right.
And we're just about finished with the uh, fuselage. Okay, that's pretty much it for the fuselage. And that did not take very long to do. Sorry about that phone ringing. A lot of times um, I forget to do this. Um, it's like both sides. And that's just Alt-1 to turn it on, the box mode, and Alt-3 to turn it off. And finish form. And that's what we have. And then this canopy here, just use an offset plane. And click OK. Then we want to create a form on it. Cylinder. Drag this back. Couple more height faces. Click OK. And I want to move that whole thing down. Okay, look at this from the top.
On the other one, the surface modeling that I did, I did the canopy just like this. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that um, like button. Also, if you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Or if you uh, haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. Okay. As you can see, what I'm doing is bringing these sides up.
and I'm bringing it up to this line here, as you can see. But, and then I'm going to move this down. And, um, but I want to waste you guys' time just showing you guys um, slowly how I'm doing this. But that's how I do that. Just go back to um, this form here and then just move the shape up here to um, um, get it to match this line around here. And that's how I do that. And the front here. And we have that shape there. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. And I just want to show you guys the difference between the two. Now, I spent a lot more time on this one here. And as you can see, the shape of it looks a lot better. But I spent more time on it. And this one is not bad. I just need to spend more time shaping it. And uh, like I said, I don't find um, one better than the other. One is just less time. And um, you just have to um, just go back and put the time into it to get it um, to look really scale like you want it to. So... I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video on um, surface modeling and form modeling of this F8F um, Bearcat. And if you guys want to know how to model the rest of this, um, my um, the video that I did on the, um, the Zero, how I did the wings and the stabs, you would just use that same process for this one here, the same thing. But um, anyway... That's going to do it for this video, and um, oh, I also forgot, um, um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments, and um, I invite you to join my Facebook group and my Patreon um, site, both called Cad Bill Fly RC. Go over there and have a look and check things out. If you got any questions, go ahead and leave them also, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we will catch you in the next one. Subscribe for more.